Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on his head, my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Who no those traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation is a flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn to soil, and I grew up about it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5, Seaside. I've been losing friends and finding peace. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another vlog. If you guys are new here, my name is Jaji. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. This is actually the first vlog for 2022, and that was one of my New Year's resolutions that I want to start vlogging more because you guys react so well to vlogs on my channel. So we're going to start picking up the camera and showing you guys the day-to-day -day life some more. The weather today is not really that cute outside, so I just decided to stay home, do a content day, and I'm going to show you guys like the behind the scenes of my content, how I film, how I do my thumbnails because a lot of you guys ask questions about that too. The video that I'm working on right now is the Fashion Over Trial Haul. That video is going to be uploaded tomorrow tomorrow so you guys have already seen it but if you haven't seen it i'll put it up in the icard for you guys to go watch so you guys can like see the behind the scenes and what i'm actually filming yeah that's pretty much all that's on the agenda i'm glad that i got the talking part of the whole out the way because that's what takes me the longest to film and edit i stutter so much behind the scenes like you guys don't know because of the power of editing but i stutter like crazy once i get in front of a camera i'm also really obsessed with this vlog because i filmed by my vanity this time so it's like a change up of scenery i usually film over here by my flower wall but i am getting so tired of that background and it will be getting replaced like early february so stay tuned for that other than filming content i just want to clean up my room a little bit because i know it's going to be a mess after the haul and it's already a mess so it's just going to be double the mess i did get a package from white fox that i've been wanting to unbox and i actually started to take it out but i was like wait I'm supposed to be filming. Let me get this on camera. I never do unboxings on my floor, but this happens to be the only clean area of my room right now. So this is where we're going to do it today. A lot of these clothes are hot weather friendly because I'm supposed to be going on a vacation within like the next month or two. But now that I'm like an influencer content creator and I actually like care to post pictures, I'm going to get my pictures. So I had to make sure I had some good outfits. I do remember them telling me that they replaced some items and put other items in, which is kind of scaring me because I shopped in outfits. So if they replace something, that means that the outfits are going to be in complete i have to go back to my order and find out what exactly they replaced but i'm not 100 percent sure but i know these sweatpants i did not order okay, i'm gonna show you guys the clothes that they sent me in this dust bag which this video is not sponsored but there will be a sponsored haul coming in like mid-february this packaging is so loud first i got a pair of the white fox shorts i also got these white fox sweatpants which i'm actually bummed i couldn't get the sweater to it a lot of the times on the white fox website you can get the bottoms but not the top or the top and not the bottoms i put like my little notify me thing on for when the top restocks and i will be getting that top when it does restock these are one of the things that they threw in there because i don't remember ordering these it matches like a sweater that i got last time so i can actually wear that as a set you guys don't understand every time i get a package from white fox i always feel like i'm part of a pr team i feel like i'm special i feel like listen savage x fenty excuse me hello i never want to open this because it's like it's never gonna look this good again like this box is mad heavy but i'm gonna let you guys see the presentation first because it just hits every time look just oh. It's just so clean. How pretty is this? Like, oh my god, hold on. Those sweatpants that they sent me, it actually matches this sweater, which I don't remember getting this sweater either. I do have one of their sets in this color already, but I do like the color, so I'm glad that I have another one. I'm not gonna do like a too in-depth haul of the things that I got because then you guys aren't gonna care about the haul. I will get back to you guys when we're setting up for the trial haul. Don't get mad. Because I know you guys like to tussle. It's a lot later. It's 3 a.m. And I already finished filming the try on part for the Fashion Nova haul. Hence why I have on a different outfit. This is one of the outfits from the haul. I really was going to show you guys how I set up and film for that. But it's not really anything to it. Like I literally just set my camera up on my tripod. And I stand in front of the camera. Move around. You know get cute. Get some cute clips. And just edit it in. So it's not really too much to do. You just set up your camera and look cute in front of the camera. I did want to make sure to come on here and show 
show you guys how I do my thumbnails though because I feel like those can be a little more tricky. I'm gonna show you guys how I do my clothing haul thumbnail specifically. While you're filming your haul, you wanna make sure to like pose in front of the camera so you can get some good screenshots and then you can use those pictures for your thumbnail. I already did upload all the photos to my photo editor and I don't wanna make this tutorial extremely long. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna angle you guys towards my screen so you guys can see what I'm doing and get an idea of how to get my results. Good morning, another day, another dollar. I just got done straightening my hair. I posted a photo dump on my Instagram of when I got my hair cut and you guys have been asking me nonstop, where's the hair from? The bob is bobbing, we wanna know the details. So I wanna thank Icy Hair for sponsoring today's video. I did show you guys the before and after of this hair. It was 16 inches, so I wanna say it was like down to here. I cut it because I wanted it to be like really blunt really full at the ends and i just was feeling for the bob look this is a 13 by 6 transparent lace that's why my parting goes so far back and that's why it looks so natural you see what it's doing like i've been having my neck on a swivel like i'm a bobblehead because this it just swings they also do send you a lot of things in the box these two clips which come in handy when i'm doing like my skincare or if i'm straightening my hair just parting it in sections so this will give you a black rat tail comb and this is made out of carbon so it's not gonna melt when you fly ironing your hair it will give you this edge brush which this is my new favorite thing ever it has like this little glue applicator which it helps you spread your glue without getting everything else dirty i obviously have to clean mine but this helps a lot if you guys are interested in buying this wig then the link will be down in the description along with the information and links to icy hair's other best-selling wigs so make sure you check that out there also should be a coupon code down below because you know i'm good for saving you guys a little bit of money i'm about to put on my levon sneakers because these are good for these pants because they're really long so being that it's chunky my pants just drape over it really nicely all right so this is the outfit it's my fashion over set for my haul but i also wore it in my youtube tips video so i know you guys are tired of seeing it but i need to get pictures in it like i was telling you guys before i just like the way the slouchy pants looks over the chunky sneaker so that's what's going on on my feet okay so now for my real issue y'all know i love my prada bag this is so convenient it's small it's not nothing chunky but this bag is just so much more vibey with this outfit like it's just with the colors and everything i feel like the brown really just makes it pop the convenience is not really there but the vibes are there and one thing about me i'm always gonna go for the vibe so this is coming with me this is the home. like is this not just so much more vibey like i feel like it just brings out the colors in the sneakers then again you know i don't be know how to dress sometimes i'm real for the cross bodies i'm real for the like you know hanging it off the shoulder this just gives me real like i need to speak to the manager all right so alina just told me she left i'm gonna put on a little bit of accessories change my chain put on some rings because i've been really into accessories lately i gotta go she has a longer ride than me so i'm kind of like waiting a couple minutes because i don't want to just be sitting at the train station we're going to the city i want to try to get my foundation match i don't know if you guys have noticed but i literally got like this bruise burn rash i don't know what it is but i got it from a lash shampoo i was trying to take my makeup off with it and i literally got like a rash on my eye and it kind of looks like another one is forming on my other one i need to get into the makeup world so when things like this happen i could just cover it up i'm not gonna like out the girl's lash shampoo that i'm using but just be very careful with what you're using on your eyes so yeah like i said i still have to put on jewelry i still gotta put on perfume i gotta get my coat get out the door so i'm gonna catch up with you guys when i'm with alina in the city Three? 
seems like that's light. It? Yeah, that's a tree. We just took pictures and I had my camera set up the whole time. Nearly had people kick it over. People looking like they was about to steal it and my camera wasn't even recording. I think now we're about to go ice skating because I don't want to spend no more money. I just spent $90 on makeup and I don't even wear makeup. We're going to go to Rockefeller Center see if they have any tickets for ice skating at this time. tickets for 8 30 it's like 8 15 but i'm freezing my legs is dead so we sitting down because i don't know how i'm about to get on skates and my legs is noodles i'll make a wish in honor of you make a wish i'll give you a dime because you're a dime <laughs> Hold on, I'm a little slow. It's like when somebody tell me make a wish, my brain stays blank for like yes. 30 seconds. See you guys on the ice. 